Noah says, Yuan, what do you say to people on the left who say the profit motive is counterproductive in the medical industry or fire department? Medical industry wants sick people in order to make money, etc. I mean, I find that utterly bizarre, right? So let's say that that were true. Let's say that in a free market, there was this perverse incentive for doctors to keep their patients sick so they, they keep coming to the doctor. And, uh, and, and you as an entrepreneur identified this. Ooh, these doctors, they keep keeping their patients sick so that they keep coming to them. And the whole medical industry seems to be structured around keeping people sick so they keep coming to them. What, what, what would, how, would you, how would you make money off of that phenomenon? What kind of competitive product, for example, could you offer to undermine uh, that strategy? And by the way, th this is an illustration, I think, in everything. You, you, there's always ways when there is a, what perceived to be kind of an inefficiency in the market or some, something that creates perverse incentives. In a free market, how does that get dealt with? Well, for example, I could offer my medical services as pay me a fixed fee every month as long as you're healthy. And um, I will pick up all the costs when you get sick. And then I have an incentive to keep you healthy. Because as long as you're healthy, as long as you're healthy, I just rake in your monthly, your monthly bill to bring it in. Or for example, maybe the doctor has an incentive I mean, I don't think any doctor really has this incentive, but let's say the doctor has incentive to make you keep sick. And let's say the hospital has an incentive to keep you sick. Who pays the bills in a, in a, in a free market healthcare system? So, so one option is to flip the incentive on the doctor and create a, a, what Jennifer's calling a health maintenance plan, right? And, that, and doctors do that, and it's possible, and there's no reason not to do that, and the doctor could reinsure against catastrophe. I mean, there are all kinds of ways in which you can make that market work. But what's the other aspect of it? Let's keep our existing system where we only pay doctors when we get sick. But how do we make sure that the doctors don't keep us sick? Well, it's called health insurance. Uh, health insurance companies have a strong incentive to not pay out health insurance, to make sure you don't get very, very sick. Because it's only when you get sick that the health insurance pays out, particularly if, uh, if, the, if the health insurance is based on a, uh, what do you call it, a catastrophic health insurance, then uh, that catastrophic health insurance has a huge incentive to try to prevent you from getting cancer. It has a uh, huge incentive to try to prevent you from getting heart disease, to p educate you about the risks involved, to, to maybe give you, in a free market, right, to give you significant discounts if you wear an activity uh, you know, like an like a Apple Watch or something like that. And if the insurance company can monitor that you're actually exercising, and the more you exercise, I don't know, uh, based on a particular exercise regime, you, 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 your insurance costs are lower uh, so that you encourage you to be healthy, so that the insurance company offsets the incentive the doctor has to make you supposedly sicker. The insurance company has this incentive to make you healthier. And, and that's, how, that, that's how it works. So there are multiple mechanisms by which a market will result in you getting what you want as a consumer. And what you want as a consumer of healthcare is healthcare. What you want as a consumer of healthcare is um, health. And if that's what you want, the market is, will structure itself in a way to provide that. And that's how markets work. And I just gave you two examples of how that would work and there were a million of others, and the reason it doesn't work today is because of regulations. Quickly, the same principle would work for fire department. I'm not going to run through it now because I, I don't have the time, but the same principle would run for fire department. Uh, you know, the, the insurance has, has an incentive not to have fires, even though the fire department supposedly have an incentive to have fires because then they get paid when the fire's out, but th these places ain't should. It might even be that the insurance company owns the fire department, and therefore the, the insurance company might own the fire department, which would make it uh, which would make it um, uh, align all the incentives, both the fire department and the insurance company have an incentive to minimize fires, therefore, and minimize the cost of those fires. So insurance companies would own fire departments. All right, that's just quick. That's just a quick answer. You could write a whole book probably about it. 
Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.